Hello to the students of Pambuhan National High School, especially to my grade 7 Skinner and Erickson students. Welcome to Mojo 5. By the way, I am your English teacher. I am Sir Joseph I. Baniez. And I hope you still find uh, doing your tasks on the Mojo enjoying. Anyway, we are way ahead to the end of the quarter. So in this lesson, we'll be tackling about the print and broadcast media. You have the print and broadcast media. I'm pretty sure that you know already what are these print and broadcast media because these have been already part of your daily lives. These have been useful in your daily lives, not only as a student, but also as a citizen. So I know, uh, I hope you're able to catch this easily. So these are the objectives of this lesson. First is to define print media and broadcast media. Second is to give specific examples of print and broadcast media. And the third one is to explain the similarities and the differences of print and broadcast media. So these are the tasks that are expected for you to do after this lesson. In today's ever-changing world, fast and reliable pieces of information are very important, which I agree. Information sources are also necessary to get that information you need to know. In this time, in this, uh, the, nowadays, information, bits of information are very important, are very necessary, and equal to that is the source of this information. These are but important. How does it become important? Because it, it would be shallow if you have your information but comes from not reliable source. It does not stand as important as information. It does not become information but a gossip. It's not a news but a gossip because it does not come from a reliable source. So when you are going to obtain information, it is important for you to uh, uh, assure the, the source of the information. These sources are vital for you to carry out your everyday life, not just as a student but also as an individual citizen. So it is important the channels or the, the sources of information are important for you to have a valid information. Because when you have the information coming from not reliable source, then it does, uh, it's not valid. It's not information. As what I have said, it is a gossip. And where do you get this information? Where do you obtain or acquire information? Is it in television? Through news? Yes, it could be one. How about in the radio? Yes, it could be one. How about online? On Facebook, Twitter, on uh, Instagram, or on YouTube? You have the online streamings of the news in these social uh, sites. So those are examples of a media. And you can also get from a newspaper or magazines and, other, and any other print media. So it's, that's good if you get those, informa uh, those bits of information from these sources, reliable sources. Media uh, have this broadcast and the print. So these are the platforms of the platforms in delivering information. That is through broadcast and print. What do you do you think when you uh, 
when you talk about broadcast, hmm? so when you say broadcast, that always pertains, that always pertains to basically television. Television, radio, and online streamings. Broadcast. So there is one who is delivering the information. Like 24 horas, you have the TV patrol in the news. And for the magazine programs in broadcasting, we have KMJS, we have Rated K. Where these programs <clears throat> in broadcast media are useful in acquiring information, in getting information that we need to know. While in print media, we have basically the newspaper. We have the Philippine Star, Daily Inquirer, what else? So uh, we have the newspapers, magazines, and other uh, print uh medium or media that that are useful in acquiring information let's start with the broadcast media the broadcast media or this is the distribution of audio we have the audio or video video content to a dispersed audience via any electronic mass media communications or mass communications medium but typically one using the electronic spectrum or the radio waves in one to many model so this is the use of through the use of electronic mass communications medium which is called the radio waves in a one to many model one example of that is just like what i have said the television the television or news programs the radio which use these radio waves and the online streaming on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and any other uh, social sites. And these are the examples. We have the television, radio, and online streaming. So I know you already know this because most of you have televisions. So you're, you, are, you were able to watch uh, news in the television. You're able to listen. Even your television have radios. There are channels in 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 televisions which have the the radio stations. And these stations, these radio stations, might be one of the sources of information. Next is the print media. Print-based media, broadly, uh, any written or pictorial form of communication produced mechanically or electronically using printing, photocopying, or digital methods from which multiple copies can be made through automated processes. Printing, that's why it's print media, because you read the information from this media. And what are these examples? You have there the books, the magazines, the posters, banners, flyers, newspapers, and brochures. So these pictures, these pictures are examples of print media. Basically, the newspapers. You have there the newspapers, you have there the magazine, the books, where... Uh, in which these are very uh, authentic, authentic. That's why the, the importance of, of the sources of information, authentic, legit. That's why when you acquire this information from this uh, media, like in newspapers, books, magazines, and some more, that becomes valid or true, not a fake news. Some similarities and differences of print and broadcast media. So, what is the difference? What are the differences and similarities of broadcast and print media? Firstly, 
In print, it gives reliable information. Yes, because it's written black and white. In a black and white form. It is transpired through black and white form. Written. That becomes reliable. While in broadcast, gives more updated information. What makes the broadcast updated? Why is it that in print, it, it is not updated? Because, as you can, uh, you, can uh, you can observe, newspapers are usually uh, distributed once a day. Some, some are, are distributed once a day. While some other print media, uh, like, magazines are distributed if not once a week or monthly so it's not more updated though the, the information there is reliable but it's not the same with the broadcast media which is more updated as what the jma news tv says oras oras alam mo because from time to time there is a flash report so every time there is a news program. So that's become that that's why it becomes more updated. Next, print attracts people with colorful and attractive photos. Yes. Because in the news or in in a in a print or in newspapers and other examples of print media there is always a picture in an article. So there's always a picture. While in broadcast, it does not only attract people with colorful photos, but the videos, which gives the viewers the exact and complete information of what really is happening. So it gives more uh idea or information of what is really happening because there's a video you are not going to imagine unlike in in the newspaper you're not going to imagine the the thing that is being described in an article but in broadcast in television in the news there is a video accompanied with the description by the reporter next in print there is a less experience Expensive. It's less expensive but can be costly if you use regularly. That's one, uh, maybe that is one factor that is uh, why they, they do not uh, produce it time after time. Because it's, it's very, it would cost for, for, the, for the company. But TV and radio can give us information for free. That is why the, the channels, that's called free TV. So in a particular channel, it is just being occupied by a company where in which the company will be broadcasting. Like for example, <clears throat> Channel 7, there's GMA. That's for free. And uh, ABS, CBN then was occupying channel 2 in that is in free tv so we don't have to to buy just we don't have to pay daily in order for us to watch the videos or the the news unlike the newspaper that every day if you want to be updated you're going to buy a newspaper every morning every day next in print, it is portable and can be read anywhere and anytime. So if you bought a newspaper, you can have it with you. And uh, wherever you are, you can have it and you read. You can read. While in broadcast, that is more accessible to more people with the use of the new technologies. That's what I'm saying. We have now the cell phones. We have now the, the Facebook, the YouTube. We have... Uh, we have these sites where, where in which we can find the information. Next, 
in print there is a less it is less appealing to people especially young people and people who don't like reading Let, just like the example on the screen it's wordy there's a length of words in an article and that makes the reader becomes bored uh, uh, that becomes boring for them to read the the article while in broadcast that is more appealing to most people with sounds audio and the videos okay in print another newspapers usually focus on the news events while magazines are on entertainment yes so in news in news articles or in newspapers it focuses more on the news and there's a separate print media or medium for entertainment and lifestyle uh, articles that is through a magazine while in broadcast it focuses both on news and entertainment so you have the news and after this time you have the teleseries you have the documentaries you have the the lifestyle or magazine programs so with this in specific time slots okay so those are the similarities and differences of broadcast and print media so i hope you know already what print and mid and broadcast media are so when say broadcast that is through electromagnetic or or radio waves so through television radio or online streaming while in print you have there the the newspapers the magazines uh, billboards and uh, brochures so but when say the similarities i was as what i have explained i hope you already identified those uh, similarities and differences of the print and broadcast now i'll give you a test a, sh a very short test to, uh, just a te to, to, to test your your knowledge on the print and broadcast media match column a with column b write your answer on the space provided so number one zuckerberg two philippine star three maria reza four mike enriquez number five international network so you are going to match these to column b okay I'll, uh number one zuckerberg that is facebook number two philippine star philippine star is a newspaper maria reza is one of the writers in rappler four mike enriquez in gma and the international network is the www or or world wide web so thank you and i hope you learn a lot from this lesson see you on my next video